So far, we have learned about components in great detail and we have seen how important components are when working with Angular. Another very important concept in Angular related to components is data binding. Data binding is a very useful feature in Angular component which allows us to communicate between a component class and its view template. So in this lecture, let's have a high level overview of what data binding is and what are the different types of data binding available in Angular. Data binding in Angular allows us to communicate between a component class and its corresponding view template and vice versa. So we have learned that when we create a component, for that component, we need to define a component class and then we also need to define a view template for that component class. So the two important parts of a component in Angular is the component class and its corresponding view template. The component class contains the UI logic and the view template contains the HTML which gets rendered in the browser wherever that component is used. And the communication between this component class and the view template is called as data binding. In more simple terms, the flow of data from component class to view template or from view template to component class is called as data binding. Let's understand this with a simple example. So let's say here we have a component class and for that component class here this is the view template. Now in this component class we are defining some properties like title, message, display etc. And we also have a method called onClick. And what we want is we want to use let's say this title property which we have defined in the component class in the view template. So here we need to pass the data from component class to view template. We need to pass the data which is stored inside this title property from component class to view template. And for that we use data binding. So here you see in this HTML we are using that title property which we have defined inside the my component class. But how are we using it? We are using it within a set of double curly braces. We are not using it like a normal text. We are using it within a set of double curly braces. So in this way what will happen is whatever value is assigned to this title property inside this my component class in this case idiomi that value will be rendered in place of this double curly braces and title. So this is how the data will pass from component class to its view template. In the same way here where we are using this message property that also we have wrapped within double curly braces. So there also in place of this expression the value stored in this message property will be rendered. Now here you see we also have a property called display and we are also using this property in this HTML. So here we are using that property. Now when we are using this display property we are assigning it basically to this hidden attribute but when we are assigning this value to this hidden attribute we have wrapped this hidden attribute within square brackets. In this way what will happen is when we have wrapped this hidden attribute within square brackets, the value stored in this display property will be assigned to this hidden attribute. But if we don't wrap this hidden attribute within square brackets like this, in that case it will be something like assigning a string value called display to this hidden attribute. So here also we are passing data from component class, the data stored in this display property from component class to view template. And this is what data binding is. Now we can also pass data from view template to component class. That is also possible. For example, on this button element, we are binding this click event. And to that, we have assigned this onClick method. Again, we are defining this onClick method inside this component class. So whenever this button will be clicked, this component class will come to know about it. Because whenever this button will be clicked, this method will be called. So inside this method of this component class, we can write any logic which we want to execute whenever this button is clicked. So in this way, the communication is happening from view template to the component class. Whenever something will happen in the view template, component class will come to know about it. If we want, we can also pass some data from the view template using this onClick method. So to this onClick, we can pass some parameters and that parameter value will be received here inside this onClick method. So in this way also, we can pass data from view template to component class. Okay, so in simple terms, 
Data binding is simply the communication between a component class and a view template. This communication can happen from component class to view template or from view template to component class or in both ways. So we can divide data binding into two types, one way data binding and two way data binding. One way data binding is when the data can be passed from component to its view template or from the view template to its component. On the other hand, two way data binding is when the data can be passed in both the directions from the component to view template and at the same time from view template to component. Now we can divide one way data binding into two types. The first type is when the data is passed from component to its view template. And the second type of one-way data binding is when the data is passed from view template to its component class. And in case of two-way data binding, as we learned, the data can flow in both the directions from component to view template and from the view template to component. So let's learn how we can achieve one-way data binding in Angular. So when we want to pass data from the component to its view template, this is a kind of one-way data binding because here the data is passed in one direction. Here, we are not passing data back from view template to component. Okay, so the data is flowing only in one direction from the component to view template. And to achieve one-way data binding from component to view template, we have two ways in Angular using string interpolation or by using property binding. And we are going to talk about string interpolation and property binding in great detail in our coming lectures. Then in one-way data binding, the data can also flow from view template to its component class. So this is also a kind of one-way data binding where the data flows from the view template, that means from the HTML to the component class. And this we can achieve using event binding. Again, we are going to talk about event binding in great detail in our coming lectures. So in one-way data binding, we use string interpolation and property binding for passing data from component to view template. And we use event binding for passing data from view template to component class. Then we also have two-way data binding. In two-way data binding, the data flows in both the directions at the same time. So if we change something in the component class, that will reflect in the view. And if we change something in the view, that will reflect in the component class. So this is how the data flows in both the directions at the same time. And to achieve this, we use ng model. Again, we will talk about two-way data binding and ng model in great detail in our coming lectures. So this was a very high level overview of what data binding is, what are the different types of data binding we have in Angular and how we can achieve them. In the next lecture, let's talk about string interpolation to achieve one-way data binding from component to view template. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.